Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today is day 29 as we're leaving Cap Rock Canyon. We got to see a little bit more of some of the herd. Karen and I really enjoyed this park. Oh, yeah, they're uh, we got two out here putting on a show. We are passing through Turkey, Texas. It said it's the home of Bob Wills. At the next stop sign, turn left. Hotel Turkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Bob Will's music. He must have been an old country star or something. This is part of the, uh, yeah. The, part of the old Route 66 stuff, I think. Oh, Bob Will's and Will's the 66. Texas Playboys. Part of the uh, benefit to the road trips is you see a lot more than you would if you were just to fly out and plop down in the middle of nowhere. You can see all the sights. Mm -hmm. the I never knew there was a Turkey Texas. Okay. So through our buggy windshield, Texas is not all dirt. We've actually been seeing quite a bit of green here this morning, which it's very rare for Texas. Yeah, which is unusual. It's not something that we have seen a lot of this month, but it's something that we very much appreciate being from the East Coast. And cactus. Yeah. Green and cactus. Green and cactus, Karen said. And paved roads. There's a lot of unpaved roads in Texas, which that's something else we are not used to. Alright, so we are in Memphis, Texas, population of a little over 2,000, and Main Street here has turned into brick. It is. Yep, so it's definitely a brick road. We are following the crickety brick road. the welcome to Oklahoma sign because quite honestly I forgot that we were changing states <laughs> but we are we in are Hollis we are in as you can see Hollis Oklahoma wow it's kind of desolate empty storefronts mm -hmm. so I was just telling Karen it's it's unusual you see it's unusual for us we see a lot of just, it seems like just up and abandoned buildings and properties and you'll see a house that um, obviously no one has been in for decades next to a house that looks like someone just built. So as you can see here we're getting on the outskirts and there's just tons and tons of empty buildings. Empty stores, empty homes. Abandoned. Mm -hmm. And this is not something that we see to this magnitude uh, on the East Coast. But there, there's areas through these Southwest states where you'll go through whole towns like this, where it looks like it once, it must have been a very busy area and it's just not so much anymore. Alright, so we are in Altus, Oklahoma, and we are continu continuing on with the trying local, regional uh, burger joint. Alright, so here, this is kind of cool. They came around and offered us ketchup. Karen got the fancy ketchup, and I figured I would try the spicy ketchup. Mm -hmm. 
California, missing Jessica. That's the only time that we've been, been able to have the in and out burger. So that was a nice surprise. Then in New Mexico, we stopped at Blake's Lotta Burger. Lots of burger. Lotta no, burger. Lotta burger. Lotta burger. Blake's Lotta Burger. Yeah. Um, it was just this little joint. It was actually the same one that we had seen when we were in Grants in 2022. Um, it was a really little joint, like Christopher's in town. But it was a very, very good burger. And now we are in Oklahoma and we tried out the, the water burger. And it wasn't bad, but it was like Wendy's. Yeah, we, we thought it was kind of like a Wendy's burger. There wasn't, uh, the, the staff and the environment there was super friendly. I like how they do it. Uh, they bring out your condiments to you. It's definitely the a line, little bit more left. personal than the fast food joints back home. But I think our official opinion or ranking is what? The winner is, Karen? Blake's Lotta Burger. Yeah, that, that was a good burger. And even with the, they had that the Hatch Chili. That, that, was, that was a good burger. The so there you go. I think we're done now. I think we're done on the, the burger tour, yeah. All right, so we just finished up our lunch. And we are continuing on. Oklahoma is looking a little cloudy today. We're about 40 miles away from the nature preserve. Hoping that it doesn't rain. But Oklahoma is looking an awful lot like Texas so far. reach the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge where there are free roaming buffalo and longhorn steer. All right, so pretty sure that that's our first longhorn steer sighting within not even we're not even a mile in. Wow, he is a big boy. All right, so we've just pulled into the refuge and over to the left is a huge herd of the longhorn steer. And then right next to them are the bison. The herd over here of the bison. really nice museum here of course these are stuffed these are not real but they are huge creatures the return of the buffalo it's a nice little museum that they have Talking about this on the way through this area. <clears throat> it says if you, these are granite, they're 500 to 550 million years old. So it says the earth buckled and folded, sending mountains thousands of feet above the plains. The mountains have slowly eroded into soil, enriching southwest Oklahoma. So, anyhow, that's kind of what you see. It's 
major erosion. They're not real big, but there's a lot of history here. So they have a huge picture window, and this is the prairie out in front of the building. You can see the buffalo out there, or the bison. And they're blazing. So we have left the visitor center and are heading through the wildlife refuge and being treated to many more wildlife sightings. Johnson Lake and Dam area. We drove back here. That is the Jed Johnson Tower that I read was built by the CCC. Looks like it overlooks the lake down here. Let's see. Down in here is the lake. Okay, so this is called the Holy City. It is here in this wildlife refuge area. saw walking down the road probably about what 45 minutes ago by himself. yeah he's just he's, he's just out hanging there. out by himself these are big herds and they are big bison
we drove for a while. Um, you can see signs up here where we're approaching. They did a prescribed burn over the weekend. We actually just saw a guy in a fire related truck go by. I guess they're checking to make sure that everything, nothing has re-sparked. But this whole area up here is closed so they could do the, the prescribed burn. So we are headed back towards a lake area. Oh, this is, it's a young one. And yeah, they're just they're just crossing the road. Fran in here at the Wichita Wildlife Refuge Center. We're getting ready to go down and see what we can see down around the lake. This is going to be home for the night. And there's a little bridge over there that, of course, I'm going to have to go see what that's all about. Karen's making a uh, van dinner because it, it, there's no rain expected tonight and it's raining. <laughs> so we're going to have some dinner, probably call it a night early, and tomorrow we are headed to Lake Dardanelle. Arkansas. Arkansas. Making our way back east.